Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Hopefully this will upload. I've been having my share of problems with it. Last few days have been pretty busy. Um, just got done reading an interesting part uh, from the Torah regarding uh, uh, the walls that protected them and that uh, it was their sin that allowed for the devil to come in and to breach the walls and uh, so <laughs> amen Jesus I mean uh, we should always be aware of anything in our lives that may be allowing him to come in to cause havoc in our lives but see I'm also reminded that there are trials and testing that as I've shared with you before are by the hand of God God allowing them to take place that we might be sifted as fine flour wheat so it takes a lot of discernment to uh, know exactly where you're at in your faith uh, earnest desire to study and know the truth I was watching a video by uh, Brother Marcus, Truth 88, I believe he's called. And uh, that, uh, it's, it's a good video. Um, it says a lot of the things that, that many of us are not willing to listen to. But I recommend that you watch it. Uh, I got a comment from my sister Lynn a few days ago or the other day regarding where I'd been. Was I okay? <laughs> And yeah, I, I'm okay. That it's just that uh, this period of time is is a very serious period of time, and and the things and the events that have been taking place in my life regarding the little fire that took place in my apartment, and now here it is, almost two months later, and I'm still without a home. So <laughs> it, it has been no little thing. And then to compound this problem, there are a series of other things taking place, which has caused me to have to move in with my sister and brother-in-law I told you about the uh, model that they had had me in well they had a sewer problem with it and then I had to move out of there so it's this constant pursuit I believe of disrupting disrupting the message that I'm sharing with people that uh, I believe has been you know the enemy <laughs> I don't believe it's been due to uh, sin in my life regarding the breaching of the wall, which you need to examine yourselves to be certain of that. And uh, so beyond that, as if that were not enough, okay, I, like I said, I, uh, the apartment next door, which that 1103 behind me, was open to me. And for a period of time, I was staying there, but then now they've had to come in there and get that apartment ready for the tenant above me, who's going to, uh, or willing, uh, on the first, move into it, which presents another problem because uh, there's only a few days between her actually moving out, if she does, Lord willing, on schedule, and my having that apartment be inspected by people who represent me and my housing. So, um, okay, but we're not done yet. <laughs> In the midst of all of this, amen, Jesus, uh, I've gotten warnings from the city of Toledo regarding my property. And as you know, you know, you just can't abandon, abandon property. And I'm out here, and I don't really have the finances to go back here to do things that I would like to do, and uh, there's no one to re represent me back there. So, my plate is full. <laughs> I have had uh, nothing but a series of attacks uh, starting a month and a half ago uh, right on through. And as a result of all these things, I've had to start to share my, uh, or move in with my brother-in-law and my sister, which, you know, by the grace of God, I have a room of my own that by faith I am claiming as my home because I mentioned to you some time ago that there was a problem between my brother-in-law and myself 
regarding the faith and that I did not believe that I should be in that home under that roof but the situation has made it impossible for me to be anyplace else so I've by faith accepted the room that I'm in since it's separated from the rest of the house uh, as being my dwelling place the problem is serious enough that I don't have the freedom, amen Jesus, that I do in my own home. And it's only by the grace of God and, and, and okay, uh, our rights as, as a citizen to be even able to share the word out publicly. I mean, it's really gotten to the point now where, where people, uh, if they don't like hearing what you're saying, okay, they don't even have to be involved in the conversation. They can just be hearing it, okay, from their own property and come against you for speaking it. That's just the way it is. But that's part of the, uh, you know, persecution that you have to accept. Uh, people just don't like hearing about God. So, accepting that for what it is, I've been placed in a position where I had to really limit the amount of times that I'm offering, I'm able to share on videos. I try to be as respectful towards uh, others as possible, but there's a time where, you know, <laughs> the truth has to go forth. You, you, you have to be able to share what God is calling you to share, regardless of what the circumstances might bring to you, okay, in way of persecution. So be ready for that, okay? Be prepared for that. Uh, so, anyway, the last two or three days, uh, I will be completely honest with you, this period of time has really worn me down. Um, it, it's, been a, it's been a trial, a very, very strong trial, and, uh, or attack, I believe, but, uh, and like I had mentioned to you before, you know, the dream I had had that he said it was not him. And I believe it's not, I do not believe it's him. I believe it is the onslaught of the devil. Attempting, because many, many fail to recognize and, and see the small things written in the Word of God regarding where the devil is at this hour regarding being cast out of the kingdom realm into the earth realm, all right, no longer being able to return to the kingdom realm and knowing that he has a short period of time. To do whatever he's going to do to do, take as many souls with him as possible. The very, one of the small things that is written that many do not see is that he is standing there as the woman is about to give birth that he might destroy her. Now, it's my belief that this birthing coming forth is by faith in that work and will of the Father, all right, in the man child. So anyone <laughs> encouraging others to believe in that work which is about to take place is a serious threat to the devil. Because he sure don't want that to take place. There's nothing he can do to keep it from taking place. It will take place. But he's certainly going to make every effort he can to keep the word from going out regarding this work and will of the Father which is about to take place. He doesn't want anybody to know about it. You don't want anybody else because if you don't know about it and you don't hear about it, you don't see it in the Word. You cannot believe in it by faith. You have to see it and hear it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. So for us to believe in that work and the will of the Father, we have to have someone saying to us, this is what's getting ready to take place. And show us in the Word of God where it is written that this is getting ready to take place. And that's what I've been trying to do for the past two years. <clears throat> I've made numerous attempts to help you to see where the doctrines and traditions of men regarding Jesus coming as a thief in the night, that it's not just a poof in the night type thing, a single solitary day, okay, but it's a period of time of which he comes in the anointing, okay, and that is the man-child. Amen, Jesus, the resurrected body of Christ. But if you don't see that, amen, 
how are you going to believe it? If someone does not share with you. Amen? So that's why I believe the attacks have been like they have. So it's going to be at least until the 4th of August before I have my own home again, of which I can be freely, amen, without, uh, Lord willing, <laughs> any interference, be able to share with you as I have been or had been before. <coughs> I just wanted to get this video out to, to help you to understand what's going on and, and why there's been some difficulty. So I ask you to be in prayer, not just for myself, but for yourselves and for everybody in the body of Christ at this time. With things going on with Israel, uh, was just, uh, like I said, reading uh, my, the Torah portion, or at least uh, something that had been sent out by that organization, the Messianic uh, organization that I received the Torah portion weekly on. But, uh, and they're talking about uh, this period of time, uh, summertime being a period of time of which in several instances and several times the enemy has come in okay just like it's doing right now with this um, multiple number of missiles coming in and many, many are looking to see a peace treaty to come that I, I just don't believe it's coming okay it's it's this thing is so much more serious than most people give give it credit for you see this this little batting back and forth that they've been doing and I, I, I don't I don't mean to make light of it I mean it's serious people are losing their lives but it's not to the degree all right of which require all nations to come against her okay as in the United Nations okay that's not to that point something must bring it to that point and as I've shared with you before, I happen to believe that there is a smaller war, very large, and, and, and causing a lot of disruption, I believe, of the flow of the oil out of the Middle East, that pertains to her immediate neighbors. That is not the war of Armageddon, but it is the war that comes forth that causes all nations, the United Nations, to come against her. Something, I believe, has to take place that causes that to take place so that all nations are coming against her in what she does. I believe a preemptive strike. I, with Iran and everything else going on with nuclear uh, sites, and I haven't heard anybody say anything about that, and it seems like they just continue to postpone these phases of having it right to the point where it's going to be too late because they will have already, if they do not already have, a nuclear weapon which is highly possible. So, um, I will attempt, amen Jesus, to find time and space, not so much the time as it is a place. If I have to go down to the library and take up the that private room that they offer and share with you there, it's just, it's, it's so disorienting that uh, this, this boggling of the mind <laughs> through this period of time that uh, to really stay focused on ministry and sharing with you what I believe is important to be shared with you it's, it's very hard it's extremely hard so I'm in prayer about that oh there's just really not been a whole lot to share uh, that's the other thing my focus has really been on, on dealing with situations in my own life. And uh, so uh, I haven't seen any videos other than the one I just talked about that I thought were noteworthy, of which uh, I might pass on to you. But uh, Truth88, I believe it's Marcus, his name is. He's a good brother in the Lord. He's, 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 he helps people to stay with the foundation, the teaching. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there are other things that need to come about, and, and we need to understand regarding that. And uh, I'm going to make try to make a summary video for some of the newer uh, subscribers who may not even understand what where all of this that I share with you has come from. And so I'm going to try to make a collaboration of, of uh, you know how I used to do with the signs, and and actually try to put the verses and the 
doctrines or teachings to one side and then show him and Jesus how those doctrines and teachings have caused us not to see where the Alpha and the Omega come in and the two flocks, all right? And that Jesus returns to finish the work that he began. And it was the resurrected Lord who established the church, okay? And it's also the resurrected Lord in the anointed word, of which he is the anointed word, all right, returns to find faith. And that's that period of time of which we're being gathered together again, and the call of repentance, Noah, Jonah, and Lot. And very few, now you'll hear people talking about Jonah. You'll hear people talking about uh, Noah. But read the word, sisters and brothers. It says Noah, Jonah, and Lot. Okay, so we haven't really even got that straight yet. Okay. All three of those would be as those days. That's why there's no one particular, each one of them represents that particular period of time. That it would be as the day of Noah, as the day of Jonah, as the day of Lot. <coughs> so spiritually we pick up on these things and we can understand and discern the truth of what's being shared with us so we can see these things that we are indeed in that period of time. So, like I said, I'm, I'm going to make an effort. Like I said, it's hard to do that. But I will do what I can to get my little board over to my sister's with a piece of paper up on it. Write whatever I feel I need to write to be able to condense it down so that anybody might be able to go to it. Because this is something you need to be sharing with others. And if I can't explain it well enough and break it down simply enough so that you have verses by which you can show to others to help them to see it, then I really haven't done done what I needed to do and uh, a lot of this depends on your faithfulness and your obedience and your willingness to want to hear and see the truth and to share that with others so that's all I really have to say today uh, the Lord be with you and bless you in Yeshua's name Amen